This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. So I'm here with an old friend, Rebecca Gosper from Life Choice Australia. You've come down from uh, New South Wales again to participate and also assist uh, with the march. And you come with a message of hope because in New South Wales you were able to achieve significant amendments to protect the unborn from, well, it was basically a Victoria-inspired uh, bill to, to ram through the parliament totally by surprise. Yeah, exactly. It was There was no due process, it was undemocratic, it was ridiculous the way that they went about this. But in saying that, this is not the end, we're not giving up and you know the pro-life generation is just going to grow from here and that's why I'm here in Victoria today, to show that there is hope for our future and that we're not giving up just yet. Yes, yeah, so it was amazing, the Right to Life New South Wales, what a campaign they, they ran. Dr Ray Carling Jenkins, who was an MLC in the previous Victorian Parliament, she tried to pass the, the Infant Viability Act. It wasn't uh, successful, uh, but she's taken her experience in Victoria and she's been a fantastic leader for you up there in, in New South Wales. Had two massive rallies, uh, one outside Parliament and one in one of your, your major parks. Correct. And you, were able, and there were, you also had strong pro-life uh, MPs in the, the, the Liberal Party room who, well, they, they took big political risks to, to get those amendments up. Definitely. I think one of the amazing things of the campaign was just seeing all the groups come together on this. So, you know, Right to Life New South Wales, ACL, Family Voice and the list goes on. It was amazing seeing everyone come together and fight against this bill. It wasn't any one organisation, it was a coalition of groups and I'm so proud of all of them. Now, Life Choice Australia, it's, it's active on university campuses mm -hmm. and I, I know that you've sent me uh, some of the, the, the vile uh, acts that uh, some of the, the far left groups at the, the University of Sydney have, have done against Life Choice. Just filthy, vile language and uh, you're, this is why our side is about love here because you're all very polite all the time you you, you don't yell back you you stick to your message of love yeah definitely being pro-life is pro-love and we need to show that through everything we do so we approach this issue from a perspective of not being only pro-life but being compassionate while being pro-life so yeah, we're not there to yell and scream at people and be rude because that's not who we are as pro-life people. No, it's all about we we love the the unborn, the born, and the mothers exactly. as well. And you'll see some of those uh, local vile uh, leftists up here. I'm sure you know all about uh, Melbourne's uh, reputation as the home of what socialism, Antifa, all those uh, different groups. But if you've survived University of Sydney, I think you'll do all right today. Exactly. Can anything really be worse than the University of Sydney when it comes to that? I don't know. But look, I'm looking forward to a great day. And there's already a lot of people here in the park. We still have an hour till we start. There's already tons of people here, so I think it's been awesome. Oh, it's been great to catch up uh, and uh, great to see you again and, and good luck for today. Definitely, thank you. It is wonderful to see so many young people here today. The pro-abortionists like to think that the young people are all on their side. The pro-abortionists are wrong. They are very, very wrong because I know and I see what's happening around Australia, what's happening here in Victoria, certainly what's happening in the United States is just extraordinary. The number of young people who are on the side of life. The number of young people who do not want babies killed anymore. Young people are a vital and exciting part of the life revolution that we are a part of. And I want to introduce you now to somebody uh, who does a brilliant job around Australia, but she's based in Sydney too, and that is Rebecca Gosper. Rebecca is um, the director of Life Choice Australia. She works with uh, university students uh, predominantly but, um, well, she'll go anywhere to help this cause, and she's here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rebecca Gosper. Thank you. We are here today because we love life. 
because we believe that women deserve better than abortion. Because we believe that men deserve better than abortion. And most importantly, because we believe that babies deserve better than abortion. Ending the life of a tiny child goes against everything we stand for as, as Australians. We value mateship, loyalty, and a fair go for all. And if we are to be consistent, these values must extend to our unborn Australians too. If a woman finds out that she's unexpectedly pregnant, we need to rally around her and support her. And I know that so many of you here today already do that. Many of you here today are parents, or you've fostered children, or you've adopted children, or you've personally helped vulnerable women who are unexpectedly pregnant, or you've volunteered at pregnancy support centres, or you've run pregnancy support centres, and the list goes on. We care about families. We are pro-life. No matter how often the other side tries to bully and intimidate us into silence, we will not back down. We are courageously pro-life. Over the past two months, I have experienced some very extreme bullying. Uh, simply because I dare to be a voice for the unborn. This is the first time that I'm sharing this publicly. And it's not easy, but it's the right thing to do. And people need to know. So last month, just a couple of days before news broke about the New South Wales abortion bill, I was targeted online by vicious bullies. My face was photoshopped onto pornographic images and spread online. So just to clarify, these were not photos of me, but my face was photoshopped onto those images. Along with the image was a link and a screenshot of my personal Facebook page and details of Life Choice Australia, the pro-life organisation that I run. This is illegal and was investigated by New South Wales Police. I was targeted because I am a pro-life woman who dared to speak out on behalf of other women. <laughs> Given that the online images were posted just days before news broke about the abortion bill, I cannot accept that this was merely coincidental. To say that I was distraught in the days following this is probably an understatement. I feared for my personal safety and that of my family. And I even wondered whether for my own safety and mental health I should not stand up and fight against that bill. It had the exact effect on me that they wanted, at least for the first few days. Those cowards online who attempted to exploit me and undermine my work show the true face of the pro-abortion lobby. The pro-abortion lobby does not care about women. As Alice Paul, an early leader in the feminist movement said, abortion is the ultimate exploitation of women. And that is just as true today as it was a hundred years ago. So to those people who think that it is acceptable to exploit a woman simply because you don't agree with her beliefs, congratulations. You have just showed the faceless, anti-woman side of your movement. Women in Australia deserve better than to have you pretending to be their advocates. They deserve real support, real choices, real love. You haven't succeeded in taking my voice or the voice of any of us here today. 
If you stand up boldly for life, you may get targeted by bullies. You may lose a high court case that you fought on behalf of so many, like Kathy Club. You may be booted out of a public venue, like pro-lifers like pro were in Northright RSL just a couple of weeks ago. You may have your ads unfairly taken down from buses and billboards like Emily's voice. I can't guarantee that it won't happen to you. But I can guarantee that it is worth it. And I can guarantee that if that happens to you, there will be people there to stand with you and for you. And I can guarantee that ultimately those on the side of life will prevail. To the young people here today, to the young people, please know that your voice matters. Even though we have less experience than those that have gone before us, we must be a voice for our generation and the next to come. The first photo that we have of, our, of ourselves is our ultrasound photo. We know that life begins long before birth and we must boldly stand up and say that. community will not back down. We will continue to stand up for life and for love. We will continue fighting for life and we will not stop until this abortion law is overturned here in Victoria and in every state and territory around Australia. We stand for life. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca Gosper. And if anybody wants to know why we are going to win, why we are going to save those babies by law, have a look at Rebecca. That's the reason. It's young people like Rebecca that are going to win this battle for us. There is a song that I sometimes sing that says, if we're behind, then never mind, we'll fight and fight and win. And that's what we're going to do in the pro-life movement. Because whilst we here in Victoria may be behind, we will fight, we are fighting, and we will win. Simple as that. We will win. This is Will's Front. Brought to you by theunshackled.net.